My name is Ashley Maloney, I'm in second year in Crawford, I'm doing fine art and I'm from a crew. Um, yeah. <laughs> My work is about looking at how, how in, every individual person has a different perspective on reality, kind of experimenting like with that kind of idea, looking into uh, how um, like s different stimuli or different mental illnesses and stuff like would affect would affect that through like a variety of media, then kind of try to portray that on an image. Color and line and kind of experimenting with different media or medias like video and Photoshop and painting and stuff and kind of seeing what kind of works for me because I still haven't really found out like what I'm actually like best at. The whole year for me was just really just like messing around and seeing what I actually like to do in art more, more so than lighting as I suppose really. Common team that I kind of noticed throughout all my art stuff or pieces or whatever that I kind of didn't really notice before until this year is kind of like how like um, like the topic of like depression and stuff comes into all my stuff and I didn't really notice until now so now I'm kind of taking that topic and actually going with it and purposely you know tackling it so I can I think I can kind of portray it in a more like direct way. Because of that I think of like my kind of attitude towards college and everything that um, has kind of not changed but kind of developed like like kind of before in school and stuff, I used to be like really shy and reclusive and not talk to anyone or be really sad. But now from like just doing art and to express myself through um, like images and stuff like that, I think it's gotten a lot better anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well this year I was looking at, at Daniel Richter who does these things here. He's a German artist anyway and he's doing, he's trying to bring back like psychedelic kind of art from like the 80s and the 70s. This is like um, kind of graffiti but painting as well. So like I like how he uses colour and his lines and how he like portrays um, like form and stuff like that. It's just interesting to look at. I think Cork is really good for art because like there's so many different galleries and stuff and they're all within like a really close range of each other so it's so accessible for anyone to go and the fact that like they're all, well I don't even know what I mean all, but like they're all more or less free as well. You don't have to be an age or anything, a certain age or whatever just to go in there you can just go and I think there's just a lot of opportunities for people as well like there's a lot of like funding and stuff or there's a lot of like events where you can just volunteer and put up your art and stuff like that if, as long as you're like looking there's always going to be something there that is really accessible to anyone which, with any means. Um, yeah I suppose um, the challenges I could think are like I'm going to be very shy so I can't really stand up in front of people or anything like that or like even kind of talk about my work and stuff I just you know, I'd be really like a reclusive person so it's kind of even like you know to be to be an artist is kind of being like an egomaniac so you have to be kind of you know be willing to throw your ideas out there and just be willing to be able to talk about your stuff kind of proudly and like confidently whereas I cannot do that at all so that's definitely like a massive challenge I have to like get over now for the next two years or longer even yeah just talking about my work and stuff like that yeah <laughs>